And one of the biggest questions I get all the time is, you know, we help people launch their companies and get into the market. And it's just like, how do you succeed in this space? Like, what makes a great business? What are the challenges um, on your side? What is what's been kind of the biggest struggles? Even though you have this really cool dynamic with journalists, like, what's one of the biggest struggles in being effective at getting your clients out there? Of course, you know. So we we reside very firmly in that corner corner of marketing. Um, so that's where we live. That is really the space that we occupy. Um, and so when we think about that, there are some obvious challenges that have been, you know, written about extensively, including by myself, you know, um, mm -hmm. the social media situation right now is untenable and unsustainable. Uh, mm -hmm. The lack of uh, availability, uh, lack of availability or access to advertising is just absurd. Um, sure, we're going to get there eventually, but it is it, it is so ridiculous for these brands to um, have to deal with all of these absurd barriers to entry right now because yeah. they can't trust the social platforms to not pull their uh, to not pull their accounts they can't uh, really truly successfully advertise on a meaningful level like every other brand can and then in addition you have 280e you have banking you have everything else going on and so um you know more than anything we are empathetic to our clients we recognize the immense challenges that they face for being operators and also ancillary businesses in this space and so we very much try and be there for them and of course you know any challenge presents an opportunity so all of those challenges all those things that we can't do we always uh, try to look at that as an opportunity to really focus on what we can do mm -hmm. and if, if you're struggling with social because zuckerberg's an asshole and if you're <laughs> struggling over here because advertising options are really limited then what are the other media opportunities that you can really start investing in now that will pay off down the road and you know from my perspective um, the biggest way we help brands really build that brand awareness um, in absence of some of these other channels really being viable alternatives, uh, you know, earned media is huge. So the public relations front uh, that creates earned media, that is the media that you earn. So that's that interview on a podcast like this, uh, yeah. you know, interviews in newspapers and television shows. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, we've had clients in the Washington Post and the Wall Street Journal and Forbes and um, you know, and, and local television stations, which is really great when your target audience lives in that in that uh, demographic area. Uh, so mm -hmm. earned media is huge, but we also are big fans of paid media. Um, we love uh, we have a really strong uh, LinkedIn advertising program. And as you probably know, LinkedIn is I definitely one LinkedIn. of the friendlier channels. to yeah, I'm a big LinkedIn fan. <laughs> I know something you never thought you'd say five years yeah. ago, right? Yeah. Suddenly it's like, oh, that social channel. I kind of forgot right. about for a decade. It it's actually that well. Yeah. <laughs> now it's like, I love it. It's my favorite. <laughs> no, but a big one, Juliana, that a lot of people are not taking advantage of is really owned media. Because in that media paradigm, you have earned, you have paid, but you also have owned. Uh, and of course, that's your social channels. I already talked about that a bit. But it's also your website. And a lot of a lot of operators are not really paying attention to the fact that what they can do right now in absence of, you know, having access to a lot of other channels is they can be building their SEO right yeah. now um, on that website. Of course, a brand's website is their most important marketing channel. Um, let's get the word out there. Let's start building that SEO now so that when we're getting closer to descheduling ideally, uh, not rescheduling. We don't want that. Uh, but when we're getting closer to descheduling and of course, federal legality, um, that will open up our opportunity to really take advantage of SEO. And if you have a foundation of material in place, when Google opens up those gates and suddenly starts treating cannabis businesses more fairly, um, that is going to be a huge game changer. Of course, we know the essential, how essential SEO is to marketing in general. And we have a really airtight content marketing program. I mean, journalism mindedness, we employ a bunch of journalists, including <laughs> a former colleague of mine, uh, Dane, who just started with us this week. And 
Um, Grasslands hire number one is my, my friend and my colleague, Emily Gray Brocious. She was the lead cannabis staff writer at the Chicago Sun-Times. Uh, she started Extract, which was a vertical covering the medical industry in Illinois. And she's been with Grasslands for more than four years now and does a fantastic job. And so when you have journalists out there, um, as well as really talented marketers, writing copy, writing blogs, updating website copy and bios on our client's website, that is an investment in your future. That will be a game changer as we continue this march toward federal legality. Um, and once we get there, these are the, going to be the brands that very much stand out because they're standing out on page one of search results. And that's everything. That is everything. I'm a huge proponent for SEO. I'm always like, SEO is so important. And even redesigning my site right now, I'm always like, how do we look online? And <laughs> a lot of people don't pay attention. I'm surprised you can uh, especially get operators to pay attention to that stuff because I find a lot of times they're like, it's no big deal. You know, all that matters is my product <laughs> like, or all that matters is the way my store looks. And it's like, but your SEO, your online presence is what the world sees before they show up and you can get more people to show up and more people to see you. So I love, I love that you have such a focus on that. That's Awesome. And good content writers, because there's also so many out there that will say they're content writers. It's an art. It's a literal art. It is an art. And, you know, it's um, it's one of my biggest pain points. And, um, uh, for example, some of my mentors, uh, one of some of their biggest frustrations is why we don't have a bigger team of freelance writers who we really trust and can work with all the time. Uh, but it does ultimately come back down to there being a lot of charlatans in the space. Yeah. Um, as you well know, this is a very complex industry plant um, and brands don't have time or budget to be educating people on this. Um, it, it, that shouldn't be on them. So when they hire grasslands, they know they're hiring somebody who is fluent in the complex business of lang uh, co complex business language of cannabis, um, but also somebody who is, uh, coming from that journalistic perspective and has very, very high standards for not only the quality of the writing, but how that writing ties into an overall SEO strategy. And you're right. Most operators, most folks out there are not paying attention to this. And this is going to be one of the many things that will hold them back once the, the floodgates open, once we get a little bit closer to uh, this stuff that President Biden is starting to finally talk about. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> it is just so essential that you have that SEO strategy and and in place beforehand because we can't act and behave and run our businesses as if this state by state patchwork is always going to be the, our reality because yeah. that will change. Hopefully sooner than later. We don't know when, yeah. but it will change. And Never when it know. does, <laughs> some of us will be ready and others will be trying to catch up. Yeah. And as, as any SEO uh, expert or professional knows, you know, it's hard to play catch up. You need to start now.